Well, the engine's pulled um, from the 1862. As you can see, it's had an oil leak problem. The uh, front crankshaft seal is leaking. No big deal. Anyhow, the other night when I bore scoped it, there was an inclusion on the left head on the intake valve. So I pulled the, the head off, and it was just a mark there from carbon or something. But as you can see, there's not much carbon on these heads. Matter of fact, the cylinder still has a crosshatch pattern in it. So up until this stopped running well, it looked like it ran well. Um, I thought I might have had a problem with the backfiring through the muffler on start, which it won't start. It just backfires through the muffler and you're done. That the keyway was sheared on the alternator, but it's not. I'm starting to think now I might have an issue with the fuel shutoff solenoid on this carbur carburetor. They're impossible to get. But while I was taking it apart, I noticed this <sighs> on the flywheel. This is quite common that the magnets, which are glued to the flywheel, come off. And usually they destroy the alternator. This one didn't. I don't know why. So that's got to be done too. Back to the drawing board for troubleshooting.